So we will attach the power. And we could run up to the thermostat and turn the thermostat on, but we like to do it down here where we can be in control. So this is a jumper wire. And what I'm going to do is hook it up to terminal R, which is my power. And I'm going to hook it up to terminal W. There's W. So we'll put it on W. OK. Let's turn the gas on. Normally in a home that would be on. The door switch is the next safety to protect you from working in here. So we're going to push the door switch in. These two lights should come on. There they go. The inducer motor just came on and that is creating a positive draft up the flue. It's going to prove through this switch that it's running. That signal comes down to the board We'll come out of the board and go up here and turn on our hot surface igniter. And all of this is timed by the board, so it's what we call a sequence of operation. Now, there's my pilot or igniter is on. The next thing the board will do is open the gas valve. The flame, the gas went in, lit, we have a flame. Now the board has a timer, and in, oh, 30 seconds or so, it will turn the blower motor on and blow that heat up and into the house. And if I stand up here, I'll be able to feel the blower when it turns on. There it goes. It come on. The blower is now running, pushing air up which is pushing that hot air up into your house to heat your house. When the thermostat reaches the temperature, it will shut off the furnace, which it shut off the flame. The blower motor will continue to blow till it blows all that heat up into the house, and then the blower motor will cycle off. This is what a service tech does to ensure that your furnace is working properly for the winter. Uh, one other thing he or she might do would be do a test for carbon monoxide gases. And again, that would be in a video later we'll do. This process the furnace is going through now is what we call the sequence of operation. And uh, a service tech always wants to make sure that that operation, that sequence is performing as it should and that everything is safe electrically and with gas. I did this complete winter tune-up with two nut drivers and a flashlight. Uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, this is a very smart thing that everybody should have done to their furnace in the winter time because if anything goes wrong the blower just shut off if anything goes wrong there could be a potential for a fire uh, and we don't want to take that chance with anybody getting hurt uh, there's also a potential for carbon monoxide poisoning and again we will test that in another video and all these things the service tech will test to make sure your furnace is safe for this winter. Now that it's done that, we take the door, we put it back on. When we put the door on, it will depress that switch I was holding. And so putting the door on is important. You want to make sure you put it in at the bottom, slide it up, raise it up, push in and down. And that will secure that it's on and I can look in there and see that red and green light flashing so I know I've got power again. I take the top door, it goes in at the top, go up, push in at the bottom, and down. And that locks the doors on there, the furnace is all back together and ready to go. This is what service techs are doing this time of year 
and they call it a winner tune-up.